Hi there, Susan for SusanWinter.net. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for coming to my channel and for subscribing. I'm continuing with question and answer. Now, this is a question about men. So I encourage the men who are watching to comment below, okay? I have an answer from my research, but I'm a woman. Nobody knows like you guys do. So the question is, is it true that men know right away if your girlfriend material. Viewer Lana writes, Dear Susan, thank you so much for your helpful videos. Thank you. My friends claim that a man knows very quickly whether a woman is girlfriend material or not, perhaps just after a few dates. Could you make a video on this topic? I was seeing a guy who played hot and cold on me, and my friends explained that it is because he knew from the beginning that I'm not girlfriend material. Thanks a lot. Okay, now, I'm going to answer human nature, and then I'm going to answer what I know that men have told me. But again, I encourage you, when you see this video, and you know it's for you, please read the commentary of the real guys, because nobody can tell you like a guy. Human nature. We put people into categories. We are label-making machines. We try not to, we try not to judge, we are always judging. Not our fault, it's part of our survival mechanism, it's built in, but we make assessments by look, by demeanor, by character, and never is that more the case than when we are scoping out potential partners. We are always looking for what's the real thing, what's a, what's a play thing, what's a weekend thing, you know, what is just so tantalizing, we have to go check, we don't care what it is. A, a day, a year, a lifetime, we've just got to figure it out. So yes, I believe as human beings, we do categorize people. And if you think about it, you do too. There are guys that might as well be wearing the t-shirt that says, hey, I'm good for one night. Just don't even try for anything more. You know them when you see them, you can feel it, right? Now, we have to understand things are not always as simple as they appear. Sometimes people posture one way and they're truly the other way. But in general, we leak tells and cues as to who we are. People who want a serious relationship show up a certain way. Girls who are girlfriend material, you may be the nicest girl in the world. You may be so clean cut. But if you go to a club and you're wearing hoe wear, you know, you got slut wear on and you've got everything showing and you got and you're acting all wild. It's going to be very hard for a guy to look at you and say, "Gee, you know, I bet she'd be a great mom because they're doing a snap judgment." So, this is not to blame you in any way. But it could be Let's consider this, okay? It could be that you are girlfriend material. And that's why he rejected you. Okay? Let's think about it. We live in a time period where there's very little incentive for guys to couple because they can get it for free all day long. As a matter of fact, many prefer that. So why would a guy date you a couple times and go hot and cold? Now that is a whole nother category. Yes, I have heard from men that they know the minute they sit down to dinner with a woman, the minute they see a woman. I've heard so many guys tell me, dear friends, not friend of a friend of a friend, whose cousin said, who said to me, I went home and called my mother that night and said, I met the woman I'm gonna marry. I can't tell you how many guys. They say when they met her, when they saw her across the room, they knew, okay? They knew. It could be that they're ready, it could be whatever, but I have heard this to be true, okay? Now, hot and cold, and he left you, okay, and it fizzled out. <laughs> okay, that's the story about of just about everybody that's dating that's not getting into partnership. So let's not make it crazy. If you are in doubt at all, here is what I would do. If you know you want to be the girlfriend and you want a relationship, Everything about you has to say that. Your language, your demeanor, your personality, your online profile, how you handle yourself, it has to be consistent. It's going to be hard for a guy to see you drunk and fawning and kissing a guy and then coming home with him. It's going to be hard for him to think, gee, she was just really having a bad night and that's not how she normally rolls. They don't think like that. 
I'm not saying you do this. You need uniformity. We all do. Whatever we want, our thoughts, our actions, our demeanor, our presentation, it has to be in harmony with where we're really going. That's number one. Two, maybe you're being blown off because you're actually a girlfriend material and the guy didn't want it. Okay? Think about that. If he's not into it, then he's got to get rid of you. So it's not all bad, right? Three, hot and cold. Hot and cold is a whole nother category. And I urge you to take a look at some of the videos here because I've really been all over this one. Hot and cold is indecisiveness. It's people who don't know what they want. They lurch forward, they retract. Sometimes they just love the game. They love the drama. It's their own form of participating without getting hurt. So when you say hot and cold, we don't really know that there's a direct correlation to girlfriend material, okay? I hope this helps you. It's a slightly different way to look at it, but regardless, I think you've got a good overview as to what this is and what it isn't and the other things that it could possibly be. So thank you so much for your letter. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, all of you. All of you who've written to me and all of you who keep coming back writing these fabulous comments and entrusting me with your questions and entrusting me to give you advice that's sound, that you can follow, that agrees with your disposition. That, I think, out of all the comments I get, are some of the most meaningful and impactful to me. If you want to work with me, you can do so. Come to my website. There's a calendar. You can book it. If you have a quick question, use Magnify. Call me up. Susan, what do I do? I'm there. And again, if you have a question that you'd like to see addressed in a video, we will strive to get yours out. Thank you so much for your participation on my channel, and thank you for letting me into your home. Thank you.